Today's video is all about a little hack when it comes to using ChatGPT or ChatGPT 3.5 or 4. And it's all about how to use the best prompts. So if you have not heard about the Google Chrome extension AIPRM for ChatGPT prompts, let me tell you, it's the best thing since sliced white bread, as we used to say back in the day. Because until you master prompt engineering, you're not going to get the best outputs out of ChatGPT or Google Bard or whichever AI tool you're deciding to use that day. So let me strongly suggest that you go ahead, download AIPRM from the Google Chrome extension store and start using this today. Now, if you are confused about where to get this extension, you want to go up to, and where my cursor is, the extensions here in the upper right-hand corner. That will take you to the extension store here. You will see a list of the extensions that I use with Google Chrome. All you have to do is type in AIPRM, and you will see that the extension comes up download it, which takes no time, and then you're able to use it. So when you go into ChatGPT, you can see that it looks familiar. I have a choice between ChatGPT 3.5 or GPT 4, and all of my previous chat results are on the left-hand side, but I have all of these options now, which are nothing more than prompts other people have created. Now, I got this from another YouTuber, um, I think actually Design Canva's YouTube channel actually is where I found it, and it has been a godsend, literally. So one of my favorite prompts is called Outrank Article. So I'm going to click on Outrank Article, and it's amazing because if you are trying to literally appear on Google page one or do any type of SEO work, all you have to do is take your competitor's web link and put it in here and it will write you an article right there. Now, if you're interested to see how I do my SEO work with ChatGPT, then I'm going to link that video in the comments below. But it's a wonderful prompt to get started with, and they have a ton of other SEO prompts that are helpful. Keyword strategy is another one that's really good. So you can click on keyword strategy and put in your keyword. So let's just say churches, Leland, North Carolina, right? I used to live in Leland, so it's near and dear to my heart. But let me show you what happens when you put that in. We'll run the prompt. You can see it's creating a table for us. So it's giving us the keyword, the search intent, which is nice because you want to make sure that you're creating content that will coincide with the intent Sometimes it's informational. Sometimes you're looking for people who are searching who are ready to spend money. In this case, we're going to stick with informational. It's giving you the title and it's giving you the recommended meta description. This used to take hours of work to do. And now ChatGPT has just given it to us in literally less than 60 seconds. So you can start to use this to make sure that you're saving time and maximizing your energy and efforts. And then you can take this information and use it with other prompts that you can find in AIPRM, like write the best smart article or the outrank article or some of the other ones in here that are amazing. But let me still caution you because while Rob, my better half, can use the prompts 
like none other that I've seen, like in person, right? And get emails and SEO content and social media content that sounds like a human wrote it. I'm still kind of on the struggle bus a little bit because I want it to sound like me. So I still go through and edit it and add my own stories and my own little touches and my own sayings to make it sound like it's authentic to me. So it doesn't stop you from doing some work, but it definitely shortcuts the time that it used to take to do the work of of small business owners. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. We check them and try to respond at least within two to three days. Happy chatting.